everyone, and thank you for attending our weekly webinar series this past Tuesday. Um, I'm Teresa Rusnick. I was one of the presenters. I talked about the different leave law interactions at both the federal and state level for various COVID-19 scenarios. Um, and I wanted to take the opportunity to do a little bit of follow-up now based on some of the questions that I got. One of the questions that I saw a couple of times that I thought was really good and you know wasn't really addressed in what I covered today was what happens and what leave is applicable when a school is closed or a childcare provider is unavailable due to COVID-19. Um, there we are still dealing with the Families First Coronavirus Response Act via the emergency paid sick leave and extended FMLA. Uh, there has not been state leave approved for that purpose yet the way there has been at the federal level. Um, if the child is sick and the school is closed, perhaps paid family leave could apply, and certainly an employer could take paid sick leave in that situation as well. Um, but by and large, the school closure scenario is really only uh, leave related under federal law. And remember, the FFCRA uh, may have been extended by some employers, may not have been extended by others, as the extension is now voluntary. Um, so that was one of the questions I got that I thought was was well asked and well timed. Another question I got a couple of times was leave for vaccination periods. So as we know, New York State has a vaccination leave law that requires all employers to give all employees up to four hours off per vaccination. So that is that's a law that applies very broadly, no exceptions, no exclusions. And then there's also through the FFCRA expansion, new categories of leave that you can have for your employees related to the vaccine. So the FFCRA has added three new levels of leave for employees to receive the vaccine, um, employees to get tested for COVID-19 and employees who have Re, uh, adverse reactions to the vaccine. So those are all new ways that you can take the FFCRA leave if you are an employer who has decided to extend it to your employees. Beyond that, paid sick leave would be available for adverse reactions to the vaccine if you haven't decided to extend the FFCRA. And FMLA may be available if the reaction is severe and leads to the level of a serious health condition. Um, so those are two questions I got that I thought were good to address. We thank you again for your time and attention today, and we'll see you soon.